take a look at how to use the Pi Testnet Explorer and also how to look at our Pi app and see how we can, you know, do some transfers. A lot of us have seen a lot of things going on in the Pi Network environment and we simply don't understand them. In this video, we're going to take time to see how we can understand a lot of these things. The Pi Network core team has released a lot of features for us to use. They have announced that at the Pi Day, starting from 31st of March to 2021, they're going to release the wallet for everyone in the Pi Network. So all pioneers are going to have access to the wallet. A lot of Node users were given the opportunity to test the Pi Wallet. I'm going to show you what that is. If I click on here um, from my Node app, if I click down here and just stretch down a little bit further, that's where you find the wallet. Now, the Pi Network team has said that they're going to release this for all pioneers to use, which means it's going to be available on your mobile app. So have no fear. It's interesting to see. I'm going to take you through what it means for you what you're going to gain from it, how you're going to test, what you will require to do, and everything you need to know basically on it. So I'm providing you a little bit of basic knowledge to what it's going to be. Before we dive into it, if you're new to this channel, take a little bit of time to subscribe and hit the notification button so you get alerted each time I release a new video concerning Pi. Right. Welcome back. This is the Pi Network Node app on my system and also on the left hand side I have the Pi Testnet Explorer. Now I'm going to demonstrate what it is, how you're going to go about it and how you would see the transactions go live on the Pi Testnet Explorer. So stay with me as I take you through all this step by step. I'm just going to do a basic step to show how transactions are done from the app. Then we're going to look at the Pi Testnet Explorer to see those transactions come up live. The Pi that is given by the core team through this app is only for test purposes. It does not add to your current value or to your current Pi that you have mined. It does not add to it. It's just for you to test. Okay, welcome back. We're going to take time to go through how to send Pi receive the Pi and then we'll go straight to Testnet Explorer to see the transactions live. The first thing we do is we come to the menu, we click on the menu, we go straight to wallets. I've already signed in and that is why it's going to take me straight to show my balance. And then I have two buttons saying receive and send, then history button. The history button, let me show you real quick. If you click on the history button, it takes you straight to show the transactions that I've made previously, both the ones I have sent out and the ones I have received. The green ones are the ones that are coming in, the red ones are the ones that are going out. I've done quite a number of transactions so far. And from this payment history, I can actually see the exact date that I created my wallet and the exact time that the 100 test buy was credited to me, as you can see on the screen. So we'll go right back to the balance um, screen where you see I have 144. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show how to send and then we'll look at it at the testnet. But if you're not familiar, don't worry. Once uh, Pi Core Team releases the official wallet on the, 20, on the 31st of March this year, every pioneer is going to have the wallet on their mobile app. And simply, if you need to know how to create your own wallet, if you need to know how to get a test buy on your wallet and create your secret key and also generate your public key, all you need to do is go through the video I have done initially at Pi. I earlier did a video to explain all that and show it. I'm going to leave the link up to the video in the description below and also add at the top so that you can click and go through it. It's simple to understand, it's easy to watch not quite uh, five seven minutes video and once you're done then you know you have the information you need to create your own wallet before you send pi to anyone you probably would have asked the person for his or her public key right now i've copied the public key and i have it so all i need to do is i click on send and over here i paste the public key now, this is the difference between a public key and a secret key. 
the public key begins with G, while your secret key begins with S. You are not expected to share your secret key or to give anyone your secret key, so please save it somewhere, store it somewhere, and let it be safe and known to only you. Now once you put in the recipient address, which I have done so, I come down to the next tab that says amount and I put in a figure that I want to send. So I'm going to do for the purpose of this video, I'm going to say 5.324 is the value I want to send to someone right now, which is the recipient address I've put above. And then there's a minimum test high commission that has to be charged for every transaction that you do. Remember that for every transaction in the future, from now to the future, we're going to have a commission fee charged from buy. Okay, so the minimum is 0.01. So I click right in and I click on this button right here. It shows me my transaction before I finally send it through. When I check and everything is correct, the recipient address, the amount I want to send, and the fee. Remember, the amount is 5.324. Um, I use this number so that we can actually cross check it in the Pi Testnet Explorer. So let's go. Click on send. A few seconds later, the Pi has been sent. It says transfer succeeded. Please refer to the history page for the full history of transactions. We close. Now, if you notice my balance has reduced, if I go to history, it will tell me that I actually sent 5.324 pi, test pi, sorry, 5.324 test pi to this. This is actually the transaction detail. So let me go straight to the pi testnet explorer. I'm gonna refresh the page to show the current and immediate transaction that has happened. Okay, now um, I'm going to say when I do that, I'll select transactions, I'll select operations. Now, on operations, I'm going to look for the amount that I paid for. I did that uh, some seconds ago, but I'm not the only one that has done some transactions. So I'll scroll down now and you see right here it says 5.324. Remember, I sent a 5.324. So if you notice it keeps jumping up and down. So I've done this, I did this transaction one minute ago, and other transactions have been coming in. So that's why I'm scrolling down to check for mine. Now, once I see this, if I need, <clears throat> I'm gonna click on it to get more information about this transaction so I click on this it brings me here what it what i what it did was it brought me to my own account now if you look at this it says i have a balance of one three eight point eight five one two five five one let's confirm that with the screen over here to see if that's correct All right, fantastic. I click uh, back to get back to my balance, and as you can see, I have a 138.85125. The same here applies on the blockchain, simply means that if the blockchain is connected to my wallet, and this is beautiful. Right now, you can see my public key in case you want to send me any pie. This is my public key. Now, if I click on payment from the blockchain, it shows the transactions I've done recently. The transactions I've done recently, including the one I just did two minutes ago. Okay, that is the 5.324 buy I did. So basically, I am looking through my own account. You can look through anyone's account, everybody's account, and you can see what has transpired and what is going on. Okay, the only thing you could not see or you cannot see is the name of the person rather it will be encoded okay so i go back to payments let me select the transaction id and it will bring me straight here okay it tells me that i've paid 5.324 pi to dg gdg6 okay now who is gdg6 let's click on gd 
G6. And when we click on that, we see his own account. Okay. This person's account he has a balance of 202.1245336 test pack in his account. And this is his public key. For transactions, if you go on payment, you see that he has done a lot of transactions, one of which is the pie I just sent to him. Is at the top. That's the very top one. 5.324 pi I just sent to him three minutes ago has been recorded against his code. He has done a lot of transactions. The last time he did a transaction was two days ago, two days ago, three days ago, four days ago, five days ago, and so on. If you look at his records, you'll see a lot of transactions he has done. Okay. Now, if I he said I paid this to this, which is him. Okay. Now let's look at his um, offers. I don't think there's any offer yet. There are no trades yet because Pi has not moved to MyNet yet. Once you get to MyNet, everybody will be okay to try to transact, trade, and all that. Remember the essence of Pi, the essence of Pi Network, one of the core things that Pi Network was created for is to actually encourage everyday people to use this cryptocurrency for exchange of goods and services and also for exchange of fiat okay which is real money actual money right so look at transactions and we see a whole lot of transactions he has done for the day so basically if you look at that you you, you understand that the blockchain is steady the blockchain is working for a lot of us that have not seen a blockchain in the fed have not seen what the blockchain looks like this is it it's fantastic to see the blockchain is working, the Pi Network, and we're so happy. And I know a lot of people out there too are willing <clears throat> to uh, express themselves anyhow. And I know a lot of people out there are wishing and waiting to see the blockchain. So guys, this is the blockchain. This is the blockchain in action. It's actually functional, it's working, and we've been testing it for quite a while. I'm going to leave step by step on how to create your own wallet and how to send Pi to other public keys. All right. I'm going to leave a description below to the video that explains all this. And I'm going to tell you, explain to you the steps you need to create your own wallet. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed every moment of it. The description is below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you feel. Let me know the next video you want to see. Let me know what you feel about the blockchain. Let me know what you feel about the test fire wallet that we're testing for some time leave a comment below and i'll be very delighted very happy to respond to you if you're new here and you've not subscribed make sure you hit the subscription button and also the notification button so that you can get alerted each time i release a concerning pie or a video that just generally gives you basic knowledge see you in the next video thanks for watching and remember keep mining